Thursday night storms damaged half of the buildings in the town of Selma, Indiana, leaving homes and family heirlooms scattered all over the ground. And today people are still cleaning up and turning to one another for help. Fox 59's Claire Curry shares some of their stories this afternoon. Where I'm standing is all that's left of Brenda Sarah's home in Selma. Here is where she sheltered with her grandson during the EF3 tornado. The Sarahs were hiding in the bathroom when she says there was a change in the atmosphere. He got down, you know, in a ball in the bathtub, and I just got over the top of him, and I just kept repeating out loud over and over, Jesus, please keep us safe, and I just kept repeating that over and over. While things were swirling around in the air, her home security system called to check in on her. And they asked if everything was okay, and I was like, we're okay, but the tornado just went through my house. Emergency crews were sent, and luckily everyone was all right. But the home that she's lived in for 30 years is now in pieces. There's their, I have six grandkids. Just walking out, I, mean, I had no idea what the destruction was, you know, because I stayed put in the the bathroom but um, when you walk out and see you know you just it's it was almost like an out-of-life experience over the last several days hundreds of people have came by to clean up at her home but also throughout the entire community there's a lot of photos uh, what I found interesting was the report card from 1941. The American Legion Post 437 in Selma now has a lost and found table with items waiting to be picked up by their rightful owners. As you can see, we've accumulated quite a few items, a lot of them sentimental, a lot of them not, but they're here for, you know, whoever they belong to. For information on lost and found items in Winchester and Salem, we'll have that over on our website. Reporting in Selma, Claire Curry, Fox 59 News.